and welcome to the special edition of the State of the Fleet Industry video series produced by Automotive Fleet Magazine. And this series is designed to put a spotlight on key leaders in today's fleet management industry. And today I'll be interviewing Shlomo Crandis, CEO of Wheels Donlin. And we're going to be discussing the announcement made last June 13th about the stock purchase agreement to acquire Lease Plan USA and to combine the business with Wheels Donlin to create a unified fleet management company. So with that, um, looking forward to our conversation, Shlomo, and uh, thank you for joining us. Yeah, Mike, I'm glad we get to meet together again. Yes, and, <laughs> quite a bit like another conversation. Well, you know, what's on the minds of a lot of people is how would you describe this, uh, the stock purchase agreement? Is it a merger? Are you merging lease plan into Wheels Donlin or are you acquiring them? And what is the timing of the deal as to when it's going to be closed? So the, the form of the agreement is that our parent Athene Holdings entered into a stock purchase agreement to acquire Lease Plan USA from Lease Plan Corporation. And semantics are important. And the way I describe what we're doing together, and when I talk to people at Lease Plan, is we're bringing Wheels Donlin and Lease Plan together. And it's an opportunity for all of us to learn from each other. Um, and we're going to bring benefits to our clients and our employees. And I have to say that all the people here in Illinois are very excited um, to welcome Lease Plan and all the employees into the family. Um, we're excited to begin working after we close on the transaction, which I'll talk about with Lease Plan clients. And in the meantime, we're not slowing work that we've been doing. Sometimes it feels like 24 seven um, on our business uh, to make changes to our platform, to build enhancements into both our processes and our systems. Our ending goal remains to deliver great results for our clients. And you asked about timing and we expect the transaction to close towards the end of this year. And it's subject to some customary closing conditions and regulatory approvals. Yeah, and where this gets to be very complex um, is that this is part of a much larger acquisition where ALD is acquiring a lease plan on a global basis. And, uh, and then on top of that, ALD has a longstanding relationship with, uh, with Wheels Donlin in terms of a, a global uh, alliance. Uh, could you address that and uh, explain to the viewers how that all fits together? So Wheels Donlin and ALD have been in a global alliance uh, since 2009. And over the 13 years we've been together, our relationship has grown closer and more collaborative. And it was in part because of our alliance and longstanding partnership that this opportunity became a reality. The transactions are separate, clearly from a business standpoint, um, th there are our objectives that both Wheels Donlin and ALD are trying to accomplish. And in order to do that, um, there will be a, a cooperation agreement that Lease Plan USA and Lease Plan Corporation will enter into at the time we close on the acquisition of Lease Plan USA. The goal of that is to have uninterrupted global fleet management services for all of the legacy Lease Plan International clients. An, another goal of this transaction is that we will have by far um, the most robust global fleet solutions for all of our clients across Wheels, Donlin, and Lease Plan as the companies come together. And the Wheels, Donlin, ALD relationship will continue. And as we come together, our clients will access uh, the most robust offering across 60 countries will be manufacturer agnostic, and will be able to address over 95% of the worldwide fleet market. So it's an amazing um, scope that you're gonna have in terms of your reach uh, globally. But you know, one of the things that I hear from uh, fleet managers, your customers, clients, uh, um, is that you know, the end result is everybody can understand the rationale and, and it makes all the sense in the world for doing this merger. But one of the things that they look at is now I'm going from three fleet management companies down to one. Um, how does that, um, does that have a negative impact on fleet managers and, and how would you address that? So I think of the marriage of Wheels Donlin and Lease Plan 
is partly intended to address increasing competition in the fleet space. And we need greater resources that we can put into our business in order to remain competitive um, and, and to focus on all sorts of changes that are occurring currently. And in terms of competition, we're in a unique period where all sorts of companies are joining the fleet space. We've seen SaaS providers come and try to sign clients away from us. Many of the vendors that we work with have expanded their services um, in order to provide clients more choice. We've seen many new EV manufacturers who are creating new models, both on the fleet side as well as the dealership and delivery side um, of our industry. And then we have the legacy OEMs who are bundling together electric vehicles, services, systems, and powering of vehicles. So fleet managers today have more choices than they have ever had. And this acquisition is part of our response to growing competition. And it provides us with the capabilities, both from a financial and a manpower standpoint, to expand services, um, provide new offerings to our clients. And this combination will benefit all of our clients. That's absolutely true. There's all kinds of new competition, new players that are going to be entering this marketplace. And um, you're evolving with the market, uh, from my perspective. Um, this is on the minds of a lot of people. Uh, how would you address it? Are there any new uh, acquisitions on the horizon beyond this? So our parent Athene's looking for ways to improve and expand and in order to give us the tools that we need to better meet our client needs. Um, as we said, the industry is going through a rapid period of change. We're electrifying fleets. Our clients are focused on ESG. We're using new tools and using data in really exciting ways to manage fleets. And we'll continue being a leader and we'll be a leader through developing and inventing new solutions internally. And over time, it's possible that there'll be other capabilities that will will create in inorganic ways. So I, there's a final thought that I want to leave you with, which is our top of mind focus is delivering client success. And when our clients succeed, we succeed. And the activity that you've seen from Wheels Donlin and that we're discussing today is just part of one of the strategies that we're following in order to continue helping our clients to succeed. Well, that's one thing about this industry, Shlomo. It's continually evolving. We're not standing still. We're moving and changing with the times. So um, a fascinating discussion. I look forward to um, us uh, getting an update on this at a future time. Hey, Mike, thank you for giving me the opportunity. And um, I look forward to speaking again in the future. Terrific. Well, thank you very much, Shlomo. 